If you click on this video, I'm assuming that you are right now in the position that I was a couple months ago. Back then, I wanted to find a way to record or live stream some conversations that I would have with guests. Could be an interview or it could be just a conversation with my friends. Maybe if I'm live streaming it, people in chat could interact, ask some questions, and then I could maybe pop up their questions on screen and it would be great. I even created a whole YouTube channel to post those live interviews as a video podcast. But here's the thing, the way that I approach it was the wrong way so I'm gonna tell you what I did so you can know what not to do and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about what to do and how easy it actually is so the first thing I thought about is I have video conversations sometimes for job interviews or for meetings maybe I can use one of those platforms so there's zoom there's Skype there's discord but my options were so limited because they have their screen and they're not meant to be interactive they're not meant to look good they're just meant to show you the person that you're talking to I wanted some name tags that I could easily switch and I wanted some background artwork that would look cool I wanted to change the layout on the spot while I'm recording or live streaming so it feels more energetic so I did I actually managed to do that by recording discord conversations and having them in OBS except oh my god it was a hassle I had to have so many scenes so many duplicate layers it was heavy on my CPU it was a nightmare which actually led to me stopping but as it turns out there's a way way easier to do all of that in just a couple of clicks and it's what we're gonna be looking at today which is the restream studio which is a sponsor of this video let me show you so you just got to go to restream.io and once you make an account it will bring you here this is the home or the dashboard if you will and it will ask you do you want to stream with studio stream with OBS stream a video Video file schedule an event or record only record only will also bring you to the stream studio studio is basically the integrated software that restream has and I'm gonna show you that so we're gonna click record only just so I don't accidentally go live and this is the studio this is the thing well look at that even if I don't have a camera there's a little animation for my voice to show that I'm active but this is basically what we're gonna use in order to have a proper interview layout if you will so let me get my camera in there I'm gonna go to the cog wheel and I'm gonna select the specific camera and while you're selecting your camera you can also pick a custom resolution uh, right there for your audio input you can also pick exactly which microphone you want to use as you can see i have a lot of them you can also select your output so which where do you want the sound to come out of in my case it will probably be the headset anyway so this is the studio this is where it all starts and this thing is pretty much optimized for live conversations and presentations because let's say while you're talking to someone you guys mentioned something and you realize that hey i could pull up that video you can do that you can share your screen you can even upload or just display local video files in multiple ways too but what i love about this whole thing is the simplicity on the top left here i will have my elements pretty much not necessarily my layers but basically different stuff that i can show or hide at any moment but let's take a look at the right side here okay this is pretty much the look of your show over here at graphics you will see brand settings and then and this has to do with your little tag here so you can change it you have three major ones right there and they come up with a slight little animation to make sure that we stay on brand you can select the primary color and you know for me it's either purple or it's gonna be teal you know you know the deal by now okay you see the lighting you see everything <laughs> there's default graphics which will allow you to add some overlays for example there's the restream logo if i wanted to put my own logo there i could do that by uploading my logo and it's just that simple boom it's uploading here it is just click on it <laughs> that easy if i wanted some extra overlays which i'm not gonna use because if i want to do something i want it to be clean I'm not gonna touch that but it's basically certain things that you want you know if you want some more graphics elements like that i don't want that you re-click on it to hide it all gucci and then there's some video clips for example there's countdowns with some music so before the stream starts that's a good way to you know start recording or start streaming you can create your own but it's pretty cool that they definitely have that option available already and it also mutes your mic automatically when you're playing those intros then you have some backgrounds that you can show and right now my camera is full screen so you don't see the background so if i go to the left here i can just cut this there you go and uh, if i had a different layout it, you would see it in the background if i have two people for example this would be the background like that and there's also animated backgrounds and of course you can upload your own. All right, let's bring me back here and let's turn off default graphics. 
And uh, here you can show non-video participants. So as we saw in the beginning, if someone only has their mic, there's the little animation when they're speaking. So that adds some graphic elements to the screen. So it's not just bland, you know? There's automatically share screen if you want to share your screen. And then there's participants names. If you don't want any names, you can shut it off too. And then the rest for graphics is just the logo, the overlays, the video clips in the background, as I showed you. And before we move on to other options, something cool that they added is that you can have multiple branding folders. For example, right now, we just work, we just added the logo, we just added the color, and we want this to be a specific show, for example. But let's say that we have a different show on a different day with different colors and different graphics. The cool thing here is that on top here, top right, you will see the fault is this show, but we can create a new brand. And this one, we can call it, for example, I have a show called Stream Review. And I would call this one Stream Review, and this would have like different graphics. And as you can see, it resets and I can add my new graphics here. And this one can be like more square, maybe blue and all of that. And of course, you just click on the arrow and select the show that you want before you start. And boom, it saves it. Perfect. If you want to share your screen, it's going to be right here. And the whole thing with automatically share your screen is that if you click share screen, it will automatically pop up on the screen. I, I'm not going to have that on because if I'm doing a show or something like that, I would love to search and make sure that everything looks good before I click, before I confirm that I want to show my screen basically. So start screen sharing and then you can pick which screen you want. Let me pick that other screen that I have on my right here. And as you can see, it's here. And this is basically a, a list of things that you can decide to show or hide at any moment. And they will just pop up. For example, me sharing my screen, this could be a solo recording, a solo podcast, for example, and I'm talking about something or I'm doing a presentation and I make sure that I put something on my screen. All right, let's say that I have this Twitch page on my screen and I'm talking, I'm talking and then boom, I want to show it. It will show right here. Now, this is a specific layout that I've chosen here at the bottom. But if I don't want that layout, I can choose to have it side by side, for example. Boom, this is me. Okay, hi, this is so this is what I'm presenting and it can be, you know, a little closer and this this view right there. I love it because if someone is on their phone while you adding them, oh, because you can add participants. I, of course, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then you can have multiple layouts basically, or I can just be commentating or reacting to something. It's great. And if you want to swap, you can just click and drag, click and drag boom you swap okay and let's say now i want to turn off the screen sharing but i'm keeping it on the left here just in case i want to pop it up again boom and now there it is boom and there's a little animation showing the background and all of that it keeps it keeps it more entertaining rather than just cutting to something like that and and it prevents you from having to edit your podcast if you're doing a video podcast or if you want that to be just uploaded straight to youtube after that anyway so now let's talk about your guests or your participants how do you add them and what do they need do they need like a beefy computer an amazing webcam or all no 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 you want some participant anyone 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 who has access to something that can go on the internet boom they can be your participant at the bottom here you will see invite guests and what it's gonna do is give you a link just a link boom you have a link and you can share that with someone cool thing is the link is permanent and since the link is permanent you can give them an advance to people you don't have to generate a new link on the day or a couple minutes before you start the link is permanent but if you want to refresh it in order to have a different link boom you can do that too it's kind of like a stream key but for participants basically now i don't have another guest with me so what i'm gonna do is open up that link on my phone and show you what it does so i sent it to myself and i'm just gonna add it to a chrome tab it's gonna tell me that it wants to use my camera and i have access to a bunch of settings including putting my name and then making sure that i want to join with my camera without my camera with my microphone and i have some settings i can also play a video from my phone or from my computer if i'm opening this link from my computer i don't know which scenario that would happen but let's say that you want to invite me to your video podcast and i want to play a little intro so people can know who I am. I can do this. I can straight up do this as a guest and no account needed. No account needed. I didn't have to. I just added that to my Chrome. Anyways, so I'm going to name myself. It's your boy. And I'm going to click join stream. Boom. So from here, from my phone, I can see what the stream sees just to have a good idea of 
where I'm at and what is showing. I can also see my actual camera feed that is at the bottom here. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then it's telling me that I am currently backstage. So I'm not on the stream yet. And all the way to the bottom, I can see the chat so I can have an idea of what is going on. So I have a full like it's almost like I had my own little studio, but I'm backstage right now. I'm not in like the guest is not in yet. The extra cool thing all the way to the bottom, we'll see private chat. And this is what is on screen right now, private chat. So if I want to talk to my guests and be like, are you ready, bruv? They will get that message instantly and chat doesn't see that. So it's so everything is really, really private. And then I can send them a three, two, one, get ready. And if I want to activate them, just like I did for the screen sharing, I just whoop. And now they would be back in. The problem here is that I don't have the correct layout. Let me click here. And then let me hold my phone just like that. There you go. An angle like this might be better. So here you have your guest. Your guest is in. You can pick whatever background you want. If this one is too distracting, you can go like this, for example. But the second one is one of my favorites because it's kind of like full screen. A cool thing here is on the left, if you want your participant to be full screen, for example, they're in a long conversation, you ask the question and then there's, they're really talking about it. You know, they're really, really talking about it. You just boom. Now they're full screen. Now, of course, right now we're vertical with this, uh, with this phone. If it's someone on a webcam, it'll be uh, landscape mode. But the point here is that you can have your guest be full screen and then just click on maximize again. And then it brings you back in and you can comment and blah, blah, blah. So while this is all happening and you can see that there's some keyboard shortcuts that you can just press. You can be your own video producer. You can manage the whole studio while this is all happening to make it really, really dynamic. And as I said before, there's no chat here because we're in the record only studio, but people can type stuff in chat questions in chat that you can click and then uh, have it pop up on screen. Maybe I should show you that. Now, if you want to remove a guest, you don't want them there anymore. You can just click on the little options and then remove them. You can also edit their name, I guess. And you can choose which name you want to display just in case they don't know how to do it because they can also do that. Now, once again, we can go through the layouts, for example. So we have the side by side and normal stuff. And then boom, there's the punched in side by side, which I which I love. I'm definitely going to be using. There's this one. The three screen one doesn't work because it's only two of us here. But there's that one where if you want to be, you know, switching in between while someone is talking and you can be like, oh, this is this is me talking and then boom, switch it out. We can have that one too. And then there's this on the side, which you can drag and drop in order to switch up. Love it. And here's the thing while you have a guest or if you have multiple guests, but you can also uh, still share your screen. All I have to do here is to play is place this right there and boom, there's the two of us. And I forgot to show that, but my on my phone, it's saying you are in the show. You're in the show. So it's letting you know that you're live. Anyways, let me turn off the guest here. And just like that, let me upload a background to make this feel more like mine. And I actually do have like a background that I use for my actual video podcast. And it looks something like uh, this. And uh, there it is. So this is a background that I could be using if I wanted to. Boom. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm still muted in there. Let me just put this <laughs> so it doesn't tell me that message. But again, that is the recording studio. OK, this is not the live stream studio. That's just the recording. So if you're just recording just to upload later on and then you want to maybe separate the audio, upload it to a podcast platform and then use the video to upload to YouTube, for example, you can do that. Since this is Restream, we are on Restream after all. What you can do is if you're live streaming this and let me go on the on the streaming studio for that. So stream with studio on the home. I'm going to click is going to open up the studio. The advantage here is that you are on restream, so you can stream this to multiple platforms at once up to like 30 platforms at once if you wanted to. So we are on the studio pro, which is the stream studio. I'm going to click on chat and I'm going to give you an example of the chat interaction that you can have if you wanted to. Someone will type something like this. OK, hey there, big fan was wondering if you could share your hair routine. And if they're on Twitch, for example, it will tell me that they're on Twitch. If they're from YouTube, it will tell me which platform they're coming from, basically. And if I wanted to show this before I start, you know, talking about it, I wanted to show it on screen. I can click on it 
and then boom it will tell me the name of the commenter and then it will tell me the message and it will be on screen like this and i can hide it whenever i want by just clicking on it and i can show it again and basically if i'm gonna be talking 20 minutes about it it's cool to have this here so people can know what the heck i'm talking about <laughs> there's also another option which is chat overlay in that case it will just display the whole chat i mean if i hide it here and i type hi how are For example, right? This is normal chat overlay. You've seen this, you've seen this before. But if I don't want the chat overlay, I just want to respond to specific ones. I can be like, hi. <laughs> Now there's plenty of options like uh, if you click on plus here you can add a local video you can uh, stream like from an rtmp source you can add some background music just playing in a loop in the background if you want to put some captions i put discussing my state of mind it's i right. click add and this is something that i can also show it would be kind of like a title or a segment title that you can show at any moment on the stream oh in case i forgot to mention it you will see the status of your network connection here you will see your volume this is actually your volume level so you can lower someone if they're being too loud compared to you for example or if they're being quiet you can bump them up past 100 and when you're ready to go live all you have to do is click go live or control g now i recently became a partner with uh, restream and uh, what i want you guys to do is give me some ideas what are some things that you feel like restream could benefit from so that we can make the platform even better and even more convenient they definitely have some really really cool options the restream part of it of course is like the main thing but the studio i feel like needs more attention because it's it's kind of cool and the other huge advantage compared to having your own you know podcast settings with overlays in a software like obs or streamlabs obs is that you can manage all of this from anywhere in the world as long as you have in like a device and an internet connection you just log into your account and then go to the studio and then launch your podcast and call someone else send them an invitation send other people invitations it's it's great they also recently added uh this thing called pairing and i want to make like a separate video about it but it's basically like a better way of hosting or rating it's basically having other people stream your stream on their channel at the same time for example your guests if you're inviting someone who also has their own channels and they would like to stream the interview on their channels bring more attention to the whole thing they can pair up with you but that will be its own video I personally didn't know that Restream was able to do all of that. And since I became a partner, I realized, wow, I could definitely use that. And I think I will be using this in order to record my podcast from now on. They also have some monthly paid plans that will just allow you to do way more stuff with the platform. Make sure you check out the link in the description. But yeah, I try to cover all the possible scenarios of things you might want to do, but overall it's, it's just very simple. If you're recording conversations, meetings, or interviews, it's just you, someone else, and maybe a presentation. And this does it really well. On top of being able to record straight on the platform and also live stream, on every other platform at the same time. I think it's pretty great. I think it's pretty great. You don't even have to stress about, you know, getting a ton of artwork done. You might need one logo, one background image, and that's pretty much it. Anyways, if you guys wanna learn more about recording or live streaming, I advise you to click the subscribe button because this is pretty much all that I post. Click that notification bell while you're at it. Make sure it's on all and not personalized or custom or whatever. And I will thank you guys for watching the video. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level. Out.